Hey, good morning, guys. Jared Wegman here from Focus Group Florida, Keller Williams Realty. Focus Homes, your local custom home design builder, and Focus Remodels, um, when you love where you live and you just want to make it better. So let's uh, get started. It's Tuesday. That means it's our real estate roundup. Uh, let's get going on what's happened in Lakeland and Central Florida in the last seven days. All right, so I got my stat screen over here. Last seven days, our average home sold and closed was a three-bedroom, two-bathroom with an average square footage of 1818 square feet. Uh, but check this out, the average list price of 191.30 per square foot and average sold price 193.36. So that is the highest per square foot price we have since we've been recording. So just a note to self, average list price total 346,706 with the average close price of 350. 306, and that is the second highest average closed price we've had since recording. Average sold price compared to list was 101%, and the average days on the market was 12%. So let's just go over that really briefly. If uh, you notice the graphs we're posting every week to show when we started in October 2020, what the average prices were, I look back and we had uh, October 5th, 2020, the average closed price was 257. 693. It is now May 3rd, 2022, and that average is 350.306. It's absolutely unbelievable. As a percentage year over year increase from last May to this May, 52 weeks ago, it was a 22.49% equity increase for those people who sold this week as compared to a year ago. Uh, so that's absolutely phenomenal. All right, so let's go to our stats and see what's going on in other parts of our weekly roundup. For our new listings compared to our new pendings, we have a bright spark on the horizon. So in both cases, for Polk County and for Lakeland, we were both over 60% of the new pendings were replaced by new listings, which is great. We need more houses, so that's absolutely fantastic and wonderful and great. Really excited about that. However, You'll see when I post the graph later that there's still some spots that are really low. So 33815, only one in five of the homes went pending were replaced by new listing. In 33812, very similar, 22% of new pendings were replaced by new listing. 33801, 38.5%. So we still have those this week. I know it's a volatile number because we do it weekly, but this week those three are those three zip codes are far below. Uh, where we need. So if you know anybody in 331, 12, and 15 that's looking to move, then please let us know because we're desperate in those specific areas. Uh, we've got uh, 33803 was at 57.1% of new pendings were replaced by listings, which is slightly better. 33811 and 13 were in the 60s, and then actually 33809 and 10 were both over 100%, which is great. So that means more of the homes that went pending, there were more homes listed than went pending. So we had more homes. So in 09 zip code, we had 122.2% of all new pendings were replaced by listings. So that's great. So we got another listing for every five pendings. Great, another 22%. And then in 33810, it was 113.3%. So just over 10% increase on listings, which is great because we've got such a deficit. So I'm very excited about that. As far as the days on the market, we were at 12 this week. We've been hovering in those uh, sub-team numbers. Uh, last several weeks were 11, 15, 13, 11, 10, 16, 12. So out of the past several weeks, only three of the occasions were in the teens. Everything was below the teens. Uh, so that's not a terrible thing, uh, that's for sure. Um, let's see, we've got pending sales were strong. We had 119 uh, this week and uh, for Lakeland and 463 for Polk. And again, that's just the stats I use when I pull up MLS. I just type in Lakeland. I don't do the zip codes on that one. So just comparing apples to apples. And over the past one, two, three, four, five weeks, that's right in the middle. We had for Lakeland 120 sales, 113, 119, 131, 119. So we're right there in the zone, uh, keeping pretty steady. Uh, we did have the highest number of cancellations that we've ever recorded um, while we've been keeping track of listings, which was surprising. 16 listings were canceled, and that's the highest that's been. Uh, no real trend, but we'll see what happens. Uh, withdrawn listings were three and expired were two. 
that's just something to note when you see the graph you'll see that that little spike in that particular stat of canceled listings so i don't know what's going on there but something we have our housing inventory for the lakeland um, association of realtors so we are at 89 percent shortage 89 percent shortage in lakeland we have 11 homes for every 100 buyers so we're very very short if now is a good time to cash in your equity and downsize or upsize, uh, now is the time because you're going to get great value on the sale of your property and you can move that equity right over to your new one. So yes, the whole market's risen. So you sell more, you pay more, but you do have that equity to pull over to your new house uh, to bring down your monthly investment. Uh, so it's a great time for that. And uh, we're doing great on our uh annual give back goal our annual give back goal is 60,000 the year to date goal is 17,308 and we have currently donated 24,962 so we're slightly ahead of goal which is great and we have to thank all of our partners and our clients uh, all the revenue that we generate that helps us to give back to the community so we really really appreciate you um, don't forget to look down in the description at all of the different links we have available I'm very excited about the Focus Buy for Cash. If you know anybody who wants to upgrade their financing offer to cash offer for effective zero cost, please let me know. Uh, we have the ability to help clients um, get a home under contract with cash and then close within 30 days with their financing. Um, it's amazing, it's fantastic, and it's great. So please let everybody know about that. Um, we've got our home swap. If you need to sell a house, you can buy that new house first and sell the other one, get up to $25,000 for repairs, get up to six months of reserves. You only make payments on your new house, um, and get a chunk of money down for your down payment on the new house. It's fantastic. There's a bunch of other things down there too. So that's great. It is the first week of the month which I'm exceedingly excited about. That means it's first Friday. I was not feeling well last week. Uh, last month so this time we're ready to rock and roll can't wait to see you there come stop by the purple booth at the corner of mun park across from harry's and that's it all right guys talk to you soon have a great week jared signing off and uh enjoy your week see you friday bye bye